Hello everyone! The time has come to embark on another curious expedition. This time, number 4. So we can choose between Wyoming Grasslands, Looming Desert or Valley of Drylands. Now, I really would like to go to the Wyoming Grasslands, but I figured that for you guys it might be best if we decide to go to a different territory, so you see some other biomes. Now, desert is really, really, really hard unless you get some specific traits. So we're gonna go to the valley, or no, I think it's valley. It looks like an O, but... Yeah, it's valley. Valley of dry lands. A harsh and desolated area into which only experienced explorers should venture. Rumors talked about the golden pyramid that can be found in this region. So let's go to that one and hopefully we will be able to find some interesting loot. The air was fresh and tasted of salt as I boarded the ship. The captain had to arrive, so I saw if there was anything I could do. An old hunter approached me with a request. He told me his story about a malicious hyena called Snarfrattle. He hated the creature with all his heart and wanted it killed. A worthwhile reward would wait for me if I hunted it down and returned its pelt. I accept this is something down my road. He nodded gratefully and wished us luck for our hunt. David McPhee, a Scottish soldier, offered to join our expedition. Nah, thank you. Just in time, the vessel was ready to head for distant shores. And we have to purchase some equipment. Uh, this is going to be a bit trickier than usual. Uh, yes, we are definitely gonna take the goggles. Thank you. Uh, the binoculars that I'm purchasing are... Well, they greatly increase your viewing distance. Uh, there's really not much more to it than that. I'm gonna take the beads, or marbles as they call it here. We're gonna take some machetes, there can be some use for them, or we can trade them. And some ropes, and some climbing ropes. However, for some reason, there's no chocolate. <laughs> it's really bad. No chocolate means no sanity boost. Well, we'll have to deal with it. You know what, let's not take the climbing gear. The ropes are usually enough, and I tend to avoid... Nah, you know what, let's take two. We're gonna take two, and the ropes... Yeah, I think this is this is good. So, let's go. So, our expedition number four is being generated. Let's hope it's gonna be nice. Okay, it's not looking all that bad so far. We have six regions this time, so we should start being a bit more meticulous and careful about how we are going to approach it. And there's a waterfall here, and you can see that our inventory is already full. So we have to be careful about what we try to loot, and now there are some hills here. I'm, I'm pretty sure that this will be some sort of temple, but there's a chasm here that we could not cross, so we'll have to go around. We still have people to level though. Hormushi Sha, our Parsi trader could use a level. So you know what, let's go this way. We're gonna keep these machetes and explore this territory. There's something in here, so let's see. And we found a fast moth. And this is a sanity. I'm still not sure how it's pronounced, but this is going to show us where the golden pyramid is. Okay, so it's up over here. Exactly where I would have guessed it would be. Never mind then. Never mind then. We're gonna go and climb on this one to see if there's more territory to be seen. Yes, there is. There's a dry land, jungle here covering something so let's five machetes one climbing gear okay let's go and a waste of climbing gear oh and we found a shrine awesome so let's examine it uh, a forgotten shrine all matter of plant life grew towards the sun waist high stairs led up to an enormous doorway the structure showed some long cracks but it seems secure enough to explore. Let's enter it. 
Investi investigate the altar and this is impressive. We found golden mask and a moonstone. This is an actual awesome loot because we cannot enter the pyramid without the moonstone. I really don't know if there is a way how to figure out that you need the moonstone, but I'm pretty sure that you will find out once you hit the pyramid. So yeah, uh, let's get rid of this uh, machete, we don't need it anymore. And we have a region point, so let's promote... What are we going to promote? You're paranoid, I see, I forgot about that. Uh, I'm gonna go with the Parsi Trader. This gives us Haggle 4, so we should be able to get some interesting information and... Yeah, pretty much anything we want from the natives when we encounter them. Now, is this worth even going to? Per day, or we can go here. 89. Oh, we can't go through here. I see. Well, that would be a waste, so we have to go this way anyway. So let's stop by this waterfall and see if there is something that we could... Uh, no, there's nothing here. So we'll just explore and rest here and then we'll be on our way. I told to pack down the track and allowed everyone to rest. Tafo had been investigating the area. As he returned, he told us that he had been here before and helped us improve our map. Awesome! Stop resting. Four days is enough. Now let's go. So I have to go... I guess this way. We have some torches so we can examine this cave. And we definitely would like to see this shrine. Now, one thing that I have never talked about before is this compass. Uh, the compass should point in the direction of the Golden Pyramid. However, it can get confused when there are things like these. This is a magnetic mountain, which uh, makes the compass all confused. So I'm pretty glad that we already know where this thing is. It will save us a lot of hassle. Okay, well this won't though, because it's gonna take 79 sanity to go there. What trees do I have? Oh, I have the butterfly enthusiast, so every butterfly we discover will give us some sanity. And we can kill this uh, giant bird. And I guess that would work. So, we have no other choice anyway, there is just no way around this. Okay, well, let's go. It's gonna take a while. Day 30, 31, 32, 34. Okay, found a Hormushi fire dead with dragonfly. And we entered the new region. Okay, let's cancel travel. We're gonna promote... You know, let's promote Brother John. Uh, it's gonna give us some boost in sanity that's always welcome. There's a stone statue here. Let's see, maybe we can find something interesting there. Let's examine it. Oh, nice. Uh, mangoes, some coca leaves, and a blue mushroom. I'm gonna take it all. Our capacity is really sucky. There's no way around it. So let's eat the mangoes. Discard the coca leaves, and I'm gonna get rid of all the ropes, might be useful. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. I still haven't found a single village. It's kind of bad. What does this one do? Let's click to use. Only one diary is closed. A strange mushroom. Temporarily increase the viewing distance when consumed. Hmm. Mm, yeah, I should have first examined the cave, I guess. Would have been wiser. You know what? Let's put down the campsite here. And we're gonna enter the camp. And put in some of these things and we're gonna examine these caves now 
after we're done with them we are going to rest here and continue on our way so let's explore the cave we found a small cavern filled with the remains of what seemed to be a failed expedition all the bones we found had been cracked open and as it seems sucked empty wow investigate the remains nice some whisk and ropes that's gonna be useful and here are some hyenas now let's go to these hills already at day 68 69 let's explore this cave as well and there's a tunnel took us three days oh and leads directly to the pyramid that is awesome and here is uh, the infamous hyena we need to kill it's really good and it's really good so what I suggest we do is we return now we collect the loot kill this hyena and take the cave and head for the pyramid that seems that seems reasonable okay so I torch and explore we're back here and you know what we have to get this uh, shrine anyway the things from this shrine so let's give the hyenas here because we will get uh, some more hyena pelts from the other hyena that we are going to hunt down and stopping shot the bullet wall sure why not we can headbutt this hyena and kill it now let's headbutt the other hyena and can we reroll this one sure so that is another headbutt and we can shoot the other one awesome so we're pretty much safe no it did get through <laughs> interesting reaper reap and the hyena problem is solved now let's loot them we're gonna get rid of the meat but we'll check this shrine actually you know what let's go this way i don't want to in case we do something really bad uh find out that we fucked up so let's climb into the shrine enter it and investigate the altar oh another moonstone that is so good that is so good oh no a volcano Oh god damn it, that is bad. Bad news. There's gonna be a massive fire soon. Okay, now what do we do? We're gonna get rid of actually you know what? Let's drink one whiskey and discard the other one. We don't want to get the alcoholic straight. And can we or can we not get back? more volcanoes and here comes the fucking fire oh this is bad we can't go that way this is so bad <laughs> this is so bad there's gonna be a massive fire happening here we no we there's actually no way around this damn you game damn you I think our camp is pretty much screwed at this point let's uh, promote our brother John the natives are super pissed minus nine and there's another shrine here I guess there is no way around this so we'll have to go yeah we'll have to go manually you know walk this entire distance there's just no way how to do it different uh, there's no way we can get back there now okay screw this let's examine this shrine as well there's another moonstone and another thing nice I'm gonna get rid of the torches now because we really don't need them and there's a giant skeleton here Hmm. We're changing the climate. I think the 
Natives couldn't really be more paced at this point. So we're just not gonna bother with apologizing. And I'm gonna rest overnight here. While huddled around the fireplace, we heard what sounded like a fight coming from nearby. A young native was struggling to fend off a ferocious animal. Let's help him. Oh, it's just a tiger. That's cool. Mm, we can... Actually, no, let's do a quick shot. And... We'll do a reposty. A headbutt. And keep these two and reroll the rest. Cutting repasty and would this be a quick shot and a cake? Yes, it's dead. Awesome. We struck what was useful from the dead. So let's take some more animal tooth here and get rid of the meat. He joined us. Lajivomov, a native warrior. Let's rest overnight. Tafo kept to himself and focused with empty eyes on something in the distance. Oh no, he's still... Yeah, he's paranoid. That's not good. After days of resting, we still enjoyed the rumbling of the falling water. The natural beauty of this place was breathtaking. Let's leave. <laughs> and we have too many members. I have to get rid of him I guess or I could get rid of our scout he's a kleptomaniac though um no let's dismiss you we had to send Vajimov away you cannot have more than five party members so uh, we really can't hold him any longer now what am I going to drop I what I'm gonna drop all these ropes and keep the tiger pelt. We're gonna get more from here, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, a tiger is here. Tiger. Okay, this should be as easy as always. Evade. Oh, I can't really combine this with anything. Ripper Leap is good. What about the rest? A headbutt. An attack. A quick shot. Yeah, he's gonna survive this. And another quick shot. We have three shields, so he shouldn't be. Yeah, he wasn't able to penetrate us. So now just a quick shot, and it's over. Tigers are easy, man. They are so easy. So we got two tiger pelts, nine animal tooth, a stone statue. Interesting. And there's the native village, but I'm not gonna even bother going there. The natives are so pissed, it's not possible. Uh, not a stopping shot. Let's do a quick shot. We really don't have a good combo with these weapons, it's just like an extra thing we can do. Cutting repasty. I don't really mind here. A headbutt. And another repasty. Okay. And this is gonna hurt someone. Yes, Captain Vivian Ray, but no problem. We can quick shot Tiger. And let's loot him for more stuff. Okay, now let's examine this shrine. I'm pretty sure... Oh, nice. We're getting so many things. I'm gonna eat these mangoes, discard the rest, and... Promote Brother John. Now, what do we do with these things? We got some drums. I don't really want to get rid of this. So we'll have to leave the drums, yeah. It's just too much stuff. We're taking way too long as it is anyway. Let's check the shaman hut though. We could use some cleansing and some of the characters could use it pretty massively. Okay, we can just barter with him for it. No problem. No questions asked. 
Oh, I have to give him something. Like, no, I don't. Yeah, I do. Okay, let's deal and clean, cleanse to fall so he won't be paranoid anymore and leave. Now we're coming after you, you vicious hyena, you. Okay, so let's roll. Uh, we can do an evade here. Do a quick shot and another quick shot. Now a riposte and do a sprint attack. Okay, this turn is going to hurt, but they're really... Oh god, this turn is going to massively hurt. Yeah. <laughs> Holy hell. I wasn't expecting that to happen. Okay, one riposte. A headbutt and another headbutt. Okay, a kick. Do a quick shot. Hopefully, we can reroll this one. Yes, we can. Okay, and we can use the kick on the other hyena. Yeah, this should be okay. Oh god, no. Wow, we were lucky. They could have killed Hormusi or killed, you know, injured him so that we would have to leave immediately. But now this is just going to be easy as pie. Sprint attack. It's taking a weight and do a stopping shot. Good. Okay, now this is going to be tricky. We really need to take this home. You know what? We got the native scan. I don't think the binoculars are all that necessary. No, they can stack if we got more. We have two little inventory. I think I'm gonna let Brother John go after this one, and we are going to try to get someone else because his capacity is really bad. And I need to take this pelt off Snarfrattle. You just have to. Yeah, let's get rid of the binoculars and go. Day 130. It's not really that nice. Um, yeah. <laughs> Goodbye, camp. We really enjoyed having you. So, send to the pyramid and finish the expedition. So, current fame was 737. We found the golden pyramid. That's 160. Wow, 19 butterflies. That's 95. And it took 140 days. So, new fame 852. Let's finish the expedition. See what they will give us. I could use uh, the heavy carrier, yes. Gain two additional inventory slots. That's really useful. We need that. And yeah, we are way ahead of everyone. Even without actually donating or selling stuff but we're gonna you know so let's sell this sell this sell this sell this sell this and sell this we're gonna keep uh, the moonstones not really important and I'm gonna gift all of these to to the museum I'm also going to give them the golden owl head and the golden dagger and the tiger pelts, I'm just gonna sell for additional cash. I think we're go <laughs> we're doing good on cash now. And I'm gonna keep the pelt of Snarfrattle. Because we're gonna give it to the guy after uh, the start of the next mission. You know, remember, it was our goal. So yeah, this was expedition number four. We are doing fine and we are now heading to expedition number five. So join me in the next video for it. Hopefully, we're gonna survive as well.